playing with the Dow Kings really groomed me to be able to play anything with anybody um, just from my, you know the professionalism of our band and I really feel like it's made me a better musician. It's so unique to have a band like we had that played together so much you know you get to a point where you finish each other's sentences or musically you know it's like some unconscious stuff but we definitely spent a lot of time on the road together initially because I was always driving the band too so I was the driver and she would be right behind me and that's perched up on her seat like up the whole time even if I was driving like seven eight hours she would keep me up and we would talk shit and just have a great time she was incredible on the road and she was a mother figure or a sister or you know whoever you needed to be she was always there for you and you know we were family and I think that's why she loved being on the road so much just to be with all of us you know so soul of a woman to me there's no other woman I've ever met that has more soul than her. I mean, when it comes down to it, she's the most soulful person I've ever met. The one that I had the biggest piece of was uh, When I Saw Your Face. And I don't, I'm initially, I think I just came up with a melody for the background on like a Casio at home. It was like a, one of those weird things. and. I brought it to Sharon and we worked it out together. She was really great at that. If she was into a song, she would really put her heart into it and figure it out, like phrasing and how she wanted to sing it. So she had a big part in, in the lyrics, helping me with that. I had no expectations for it and what came of it was really incredible, but with help from everyone. I love this record. I think it's a really special record, obviously because it's like our last record that we recorded, but the music is amazing and Sharon kills it. Didn't believe in the 